and welcome back. If you're new here, I'm Lily, aka Lipstick Is My Love, and today we're going to be testing out the new, well, I say new, I'm a bit late to this, but it is um, new from Revolution, Makeup Revolution, and it is the Fast Base Stick Foundation, um, and this has been out for like a hot minute. And I know I'm quite behind. It's been out for a while. Loads of people have used it. Loads of people love it. Um, but I finally got this the other day. And I did a poll on Instagram. And actually a load of people um, were like, yeah, do a review, do a review. So that's what I'm doing today. So if you want to see what I think of the Makeup Revolution Fast Base Stick Foundation, then keep on watching. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go in with some primer. It is the Tarte Clean Slate Timeless Smoothing Primer Base. I've only used this once, but I really like it. The texture's quite thick. It's quite like, it's like a bit more like moisturiser. But when it's on, it kind of reminds me of um, a bit like Smashbox. The Smashbox Primer, Photo Finish Primer. What I like to do... I have this NYX Dark Circle Concealer in Fair, which I'm just going to pop under my eyes to obviously conceal all my dark circles, because you girls got a lot. So I'm going to go ahead and pop this on. And then I like to colour correct with a NYX Full Coverage Concealer in Green. So I just tend to put that around my nose, kind of you know, if my cheeks are looking a bit red. And I just went in with um, a Beauty UK brush and I'm not going to number or anything, it's just one of those. Right, so I'm looking a little bit more even in skin tone. I'm still very red, but I have um, very... I'm not the best skin. <laughs> Um, but we're going to carry on. So we're going to move on to the foundation. And this is the component. It's kind of a nice, smooth um, plastic. Just nice um, plastic. It's not weighted. But this is £5. Pretty sure it's just a fiver. Um, so this brand is cruelty free and vegan. And you get 6.2 .2 grams of product, which is 0.218 ounces, um, which isn't isn't that bad, to be honest. It's not that bad. I um, mean, for five pounds, five pounds, you know, let's be honest, you can't complain. And they have so many um, different shades, which is amazing. I picked up the shade F4, and I have a feeling... I'm terrible at picking shades out online and I just, I don't know if this is going to work for me, but we're going to give it a go. I should have picked a couple more, I don't know why I didn't. So, I love this gold, I love the kind of, the little gold on there, and then it's smaller than I thought, I will say. I was expecting it to be a bit, um, a bit chunkier, so a bit up close. I mean, the colour doesn't look terrible. Maybe a bit pink, maybe a bit too pink. But I'm excited to see about the coverage because it's meant to be pretty good. So, right, let's go ahead. Ooh, okay. This is creamy, this is, oh, I love, I love a creamy foundation. A creamy stick foundation is like my holy grail. Right, I am just going to do lines all over my face. Because I like a lot of coverage. So I'm just going to go ahead and do what I normally do. So I'm just going to take my Morphe Y6 brush, which I love this brush to blend out stick foundations um, otherwise I use a sponge if it's like a liquid so blend her out 
This is blending out and this feels um, very similar to the Tarte Clay Stick because that is so creamy and that blends out really nice. This coverage, look at that, it has completely covered my redness. This is really nice. This is really similar to the Tarte Clay Stick and the Tarte Clay Stick is £35. This is a fiver. I think you get a little less product. This is pigmented. This is blending out really nicely. It's very dewy. It's giving that nice dewy effect without looking too greasy, I find. But so far... And it's... It's really nice, like, I don't know if you can see, but my pores, it's not like sinking in or making them cakey. My chin is really smooth as well. It's, it's, it's really smooth. I really like it. That's nice. And the colour's actually really good. I was worried because um, it looked a bit pinkier online and I was like, oh, I don't know. But this is nice. I am very happy so far. Blends it out really nicely, really easily. That creamy, that if you wanted to use a sponge to blend it out instead of a brush, I reckon you could because it's so creamy. Um, whereas I have some stick foundations that you put them on and they're quite dry and you have to quite buff them in with a brush and it's difficult to do with a sponge. But this I feel like you could do with a sponge quite easily because of how creamy it is and this color match and I, I like I like the coverage I like that it's quick and easy to go on that's why I think I definitely prefer stick foundations um just because they're they're easy you know you swipe it on and you're done um so what I'm gonna do with the rest of my makeup um we're going to give this a little wear test. I'm going to go have some dinner. I'm going to come back. But I'm going to do next is this concealer. And again, this is another Revolution one. The one that everyone's raved about. The Conceal and Define. Which everyone says is a dupe for Tarte. And I mentioned this in one of my previous videos as well. And I finally got my right shade. Because before, I had C4 in this. And obviously, this is F4. And they said the concealers match with the foundations. That's why I went with F4 because that concealer was a lot like my skin tone. So I was like, you know, all right, I'll give it a go. We'll see what happens. And I'm glad I did because this is, <laughs> it's a really good colour match. So I'm just going to go in with this concealer in shade C1, which was the lightest. But now they've released, I think, eight new shades. I love that it's a brand for everybody. I absolutely love that. So I'm going to go pop some of this on and I'm going to hope this is my shade. Because if it is, then I'm probably going to switch from my shape tape to this. Because this is, what, £4? And my shape tape's 22 I think. This is exactly the colour. I am Tarte Shape Tape. My colour is Fair Beige. I'm going to go back in with my Y6 brush. Right, so I've just gone and added some brows, a bit of bronzer, a bit of blush, and I'm just going to go and highlight. And I'm going to use the um, Ofra and Nikki Tutorials highlighter in Glazed Donut. And I absolutely love this highlighter. Um, again, if you've seen me in previous videos, you know how much I like this highlighter. Um, and it's amazing. Like, look at that. <laughs> If you haven't already, I've done a video on um, my favourite um, for best blinding highlighters. So go have a look at my channel and go have a look through that. Because there's some high end, there's some drugstore, so there's something in there for everybody. Now I'm just going to pop on some mascara and some lashes. I'm going to be using the Benefit Bad Girl Bang Mascara, which is my new holy grail for mascara. Um, lashes, I'm going to be using these lashes from Be Proud. Right guys, so I've just put on some mascara finally um, and some lashes these are really simple just plain lashes and um, I'm gonna take a little look I'm really happy with this so far 
um, it's still looking quite nice and dewy which is nice it is not cracking anywhere like okay maybe there's a tiny bit of cracking you know like in the crease in my nose my pores here and on my chin look amazing like you can still see all my blemishes and that but my pores look so small and like so smooth which i don't know if that's the primer or the foundation but they haven't looked this good ever um i'm surprised at how <laughs> like this coverage is really nice i love that it's covered my redness so easily and obviously you can still see my blemishes because i have a lot of blemishes i have quite bad aggravated skin but the redness is gone my pores look so small it looks so smooth um i mean for five pounds you can't go wrong um right guys what i'm gonna do i'm going to go eat some food you know, have a bit of a chill, come back and see how it's, you know, worn, see if it's cracked, see if it's gone a bit. Alright, so it's probably been about maybe an hour um, and I've just popped on a little lipstick because I was feeling a little bare. But overall, let's have a little quick look. I'm really happy. There's a bit of cracking around my nose, but I get that bad with everything. But here, right, my pores here look amazing. And my chin, my ch I've eaten as well. So normally all my makeup, well not all my makeup, but normally I've got at least something off, like rubbed off or smudged. I haven't reapplied any foundation. I've just added some more lipstick. Um, but even all around here, or on my mouth, it looks really good. I look smooth. My skin tone looks even, which I love. Um, it doesn't look patchy. The colour match is fantastic. It works really well um, with the bronzer and that. Because sometimes I'll go in with the bronzer on top and the blush and all that. And sometimes it'll make the foundation go a bit cakey and it'll look chunky. But this has, this looks just as smooth with the bronzer. It feels nice. Um, it's not tacky. I have set my face, but it's still, it's still got that dewiness to it, which I like, but I don't look shiny. Um, my forehead, again, it's gone dewy. Like you can see the dewiness coming through a bit on my forehead but it's not shiny um i would probably need to touch up my forehead if it carried on because i'm not one for being super dewy and all that but this is really nice and for a fiver i mean honestly you can't really go wrong um so this i would definitely recommend anyone to get this they have so many shades and the concealer has worked really lovely um, with this. I would definitely, definitely say to get this. It's only five pounds and definitely get the concealer as well because they work really nicely together. Um, this brush was amazing, the Y6 from Morphe, but it's that creamy. Um, you could most likely easily use a beauty blender and it'd be absolutely flawless because it's so creamy. It's going to blend really nice into your skin. It's not settled into any lines or any pores. Um, and I am absolutely loving the finish. Right. Right, guys, so let me know what you think. Do you have this? Do you want it? Um, what do you think? You know, do you think you're going to give it a go or is it not for you? Um, I love stick foundations. And for £5, I'm definitely going to grab me a good few more of these because this is probably going to be my day-to-day -day foundation. Um, so, right guys, that's today's video. And thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel to see more. 
and check out last week's video which I will link in the description box below and also hit the little notification bell to be notified every time I upload and guys again I hope you enjoy you know your day your evening whatever you're doing and I'll see you in my next one guys so take care guys bye